Hey everybody, welcome back to Comageddon, where all geek culture collides. This is Billy. I am going to be doing my Masters of the Universe collection. Uh, right now, I am going to split it up into two parts. I'm going to do the heroes, and next week I will do the villains. So, stay tuned. Okay, first up, we have Mana Arms. I like the way they really did this. This is the Funko uh, Specialty Series Edition. I like he they did a really good job with him keeping with the 80s the classic 80s look of him he's got his arm crossbow looks like he's got a little fireball coming out like he's shooting the laser off he's got his mace but I like the original color scheme and it's all the way around he's got a huge helmet though <laughs> and they got the mustache sorry I have a sick and twisted sense of humor Next up, we have Stratos. In my opinion, one of the most underrated heroes of Eternia. I like how they got they got him done once again with the 80s style. I believe, yes I do, this is the actual, what the actual figure looks like. So, it's really spot on. I think it would have been cooler pop if they would have done him flocked like you can see on the detail on the actual 80's figure how he looks like he's kinda hairy but he actually has both both wings unlike mine that's missing one wing and the jetpack but they, they've done a really good job with these so far on Keeping them what their 80s style was supposed to look like. Next up is Adam, or the He-Man, as most people know him. He, I have to hold him here because he's kind of top-heavy. But he's in his battle armor without the Sword of Grace Skull. He's got the battle axe, which is what I, for the longest time when I was a kid, I knew he had the sword, but I preferred him having the battle axe. It's like I like the shield. The shield's really good detail. It's got the battle armor right there, and once again, they're doing. A, they did a very good job of keeping it with the classic '80s style. And lastly, my favorite, the court jester Orko. The reason I did him last, and the reason why he's my favorite, because he is arguably the most powerful person in the Masters in. Eternia, actually probably in the entire mythos of the show. But, once again, they kept, kept him in the 80s. He's got a nice, nice little base here to hold him up. I see if it's... Never mind. But, he's got his scepter. It's like, it's actually really, it's a really nice pop. I like it. He's super light. I like the way they did him and everything. But, once again, staying in the 80s style of the... Of the thing, of the show. So, there you have the Heroes of Eternia. The only one I wish they'd make would be Tila. That would be awesome and amazing. But if you have any questions about the Masters of the Universe, I am a fan. But, John is, he's the freak about it. So, you can go check out his videos that he does on Masters of the Universe. And, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button to get more information. Till next time.